Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just thought I would switch things up a little bit, and so instead of doing a musical video, I'm gonna do a review slash overview of this wonderful Martin Dreadnought Jr. Before I get started, I just wanna let you know this is not a paid review. I've been a fan of Martin for at least 15 years now. My parents got me my first real professional guitar, and uh, it was a Dreadnought just like this, but a bigger version. They call this a Dreadnought Jr. because it's only 15 sixteenths of the size. It's also what's called short scale, which means that from here to here, it's about an inch shorter than your typical guitar, which makes it easier to play a lot of stretched out chords. It also makes it much easier for people who have smaller hands to reach the chords that they want to play. One of the best things about this guitar is that it's made of all solid wood. It's not laminate, so it has the ability to change over time. It gets drier, it sounds better. The thing about a guitar is that when you first get one, it's brand new. It doesn't. The guitar doesn't know it's a guitar. It still thinks that it's a tree. So as you play it, as the wood vibrates, as the wood dries out, it sounds better and better and better. And years and years down the line with an all solid wood guitar, it'll just get better and better. That's something that a laminate guitar doesn't necessarily do. The construction is fantastic. The tuners up here are nice and tight. There's no slack. There's no play in any of these, these tuning keys. They keep the guitar nice and in tune. Another awesome thing about this guitar is that it's equipped with what's called a Fishman Sonotone pickup system. What that is is a pickup underneath the saddle here that picks up the vibrations of the strings. There's a little battery inside here. It's a little nine volt battery, easy to find, easy to get. And two knobs inside the guitar, hidden discreetly, that will give you the option to adjust your volume and your tone, whether you want it brighter or darker. The frets on this guitar are fantastic. Typically with your lower to mid range guitars, the fret ends, which are the ends of the frets, obviously. Sometimes they can be a little sharp, but with this, Martin took care of that. They're nice and smooth. You don't feel anything going up the neck. So that really helps when you're playing and you're not getting distracted by that or sometimes even getting scratched up by them. Another thing to note is that if you want to get the most out of this guitar, and actually this is for any guitar, you're going to want to take it to a professional guitar tech or luthier to get it what's called uh, setup, which means your luthier, your guitar tech will adjust the height here at the nut, will adjust the height here at the saddle so it plays really nice. They can even adjust the the, the bow of the neck, whether it needs to be straightened or bowed a little, based on how you want to play it. I take my guitar to my luthier in San Mateo. His name is Derek at B Street Music. Quick shout out to him. He's always taking care of me. Makes my guitars play exactly as I need them to. So if ever you're in San Mateo and you need your guitar set up, check him out. He's a great guy. And of course, the sound. The sound is beautiful. I love the way that Martin guitars sound to me. That's how guitars are meant to sound. It's got that dark that dark tone in there, which I've always loved because um, it sort of gets out of the way of your voice. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you're serious about playing guitar and if you're serious about getting this guitar, you're gonna wanna get a hard case. It comes with a soft case, which is great and it's nice to tote around, but the truth is that guitars are relatively fragile, so you wanna get a hard case that's gonna protect your investment. Martin makes one that fits perfectly, it's beautiful, it's black, it's got green plush interior just like all the awesome Martins do. It's got three latches and it's got the Martin logo on it, which is great, which is always nice to have the logo on there. And so yeah, that's uh, that's my overview slash review of the beautiful Martin Dreadnought Jr. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments below and I look forward to showing you some more of these guitars. All right, take care and I'll see you soon.